Now, if y'all want to hear something that's absolutely ridiculous, you have come to the right place. Because 45 has decided that he is going to give a pardon to the greatest that ever did it, Muhammad Ali. Why is he giving him this pardon, you may ask? Because remember back in the late 60s when Muhammad Ali was supposed to get drafted into the army or to the military, I should say, to go fight in Vietnam, and he gave that wonderful rebuttal as to why he was not going. And they wanted to bring him up on charges pretty much almost on treasonous type charges because you know that back then that was considered treason if you didn't go fight when they drafted you then you were going to go to jail but he ended up getting stripped of his titles he lost almost every boxing title he had and he pretty much got lowered down to a has-been category as soon as he was as soon as his star was starting to rise and i believe it was in 1971 at least in what i read y'all can correct me if i'm wrong they overturned all of that, and and that was it. Mind you, Ali never went, to my knowledge, to jail. Y'all can correct me on that if I'm wrong on that as well. And I could have sworn pardons were given to people who were actually convicted of something and went to jail for it. Now, we know that 45 gave a pardon to Jack Johnson, who has been dead for almost 100 years. After he went to jail for what would be considered a crime back in those times, and that is him being involved in traveling with a white woman. He just recently gave a pardon to a black woman by the name of Alice Mae Johnson, who is still currently alive, and that was with the assistance of all people, I cannot believe, Kim Kardashian. I said, I see exactly what 45 is trying to do, but before I get into that, let me also add that 45 dodged the military himself because of a so-called bone spur. And it's funny because you have a lot of 45 supporters who are claimed to be so patriotic, who I call them fake patriotic or fake triots, and all about the red, white, and blue, and all about that flag, which is not even made in America. I don't know how many times I got to stress this out. And all about the military, but most of them never have gone to the VA. And literally back everything this guy back everything up that this guy says now let me tell you why i believe he's doing it he's doing it because he needs those votes it's a special type of election that's coming up very soon and he needs those votes and then of course you know he the he'll be up for re-election in 2020 so he needs the votes apparently his co-colonizing coons coonets and sambos and tap dancing butter biscuit eating kool-aid um drinking watermelon and corn chucking croonies aren't cutting it anymore those they're they're not enough i'm telling you a lot of this stuff rises and falls on our votes even though we know it comes down to the electoral college but he is doing this to give brownie points and points. And he's saying that there's going to be thousands more that he plans on pardoning. I'm wondering, will those thousands more be either A, alive, or B, non-black? Because so far he's given three, well, well, two, soon to possibly be three pardons and all three have been black. And it makes me wonder what is going through the minds of his, uh, his uh, colonizing supporters because he hasn't pardoned anybody to my knowledge who was white yet whether they have, are alive or dead now former president barack obama did he pardoned a few white people while they were still alive might i add but the white people hated him it's not how soon they forget but because he's black they don't feel that that's that symbolic because he's a black guy but 45 hasn't pardoned anyone white yet, dead or alive, and they haven't uttered a word uh, expressing disgust. Like why, ha like, why hasn't he pardoned anybody white yet? Male, female, young, old, dead or alive. Famous or not. Why hasn't anybody white gone to talk to him to try to uh, get somebody out the way Kim Kardashian was helping that Alice Johnson lady? 
I'm just saying, I'm saying this from all angles. He knows what he needs and he cannot get it from his main base. His main base helped him get into office, but he needs a new base to keep him there. If you understand what I'm saying, I see through all of this and it's in it's pathetic. It's a pathetic attempt to try and get us to be on his side. I'm not falling for this trick at all. I'm sure Jack Johnson would be offended at this. And so would uh, Muhammad Ali. And how ironic that the one black person he does pardon a woman is alive. Nothing against her being alive. I'm glad that she is alive. But notice that. And he's pardoned two black famous boxers that was beloved by the black community more times than you can count. I wonder who he's going to try and pardon next. Is it going to be another boxer? I'm like, I, I don't know. But like I said, I thought the parts were given to people who were actually convicted of a crime and actually served and were still serving jail time even after if they were dead. But this is a slap in the face to Muhammad Ali, you know, as a person, his legacy and to his family. I would if I was people in his family, I would question this entire thing. Like, what are your motives? Like, what are you really trying to do? Because we notice you're not doing this out of the generosity of your heart. Well, he doesn't really have one. Like the song goes, there's a, a ice box where his heart used to be. 45, that song is dedicated to you. Well, at least that line of the song. Because I genuinely do not believe he is being genuine with this. He has an agenda. He has a narrative he's trying to spin with this whole pardoning of, of Muhammad Ali. Like, it, it doesn't sit right with me at all. And by the way, uh, Muhammad Ali and uh, Colin Kaepernick had very similar stances as far as this uh, establishment is. And it's funny because he wants to pardon Ali, but he is critical of Colin Kaepernick. I'm not going to sit here and say that they're one in the same person or their ideologies were a direct parallel mirroring image of, it, of each other. But there were a lot of similarities. So why is he so gung-ho to pardon Ali? And not Colin Kaepernick. Maybe it's because Ali took some pictures with Donald Trump. Yes, there are some photo ops. Because you know, 45 lives for a good photo op. And maybe because Colin Kaepernick did not. Because you know, he's been invited by 45 on numerous occasions to come to these events. Which I'm sure was another photo op. But Colin Kaepernick turned him down. Or maybe it's because Colin Kaepernick is about to drop this subpoena against him. I don't know. But... It's silly, it's pathetic, and it's outrageous. But it's not surprising. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.